All right, it's time to scroll some sides and up some beats in the side-scrolling beat-em-up Dragon's Crown. You saved a village girl. You must protect her now. Thanks. Now, before we get too far into the review, there is an elephant in the room that I'd like to get out of the way. Two elephants? Well, yes. And chances are, if you've heard anything about this game at all, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Massive boobs. Yes, it is massive boobs. And look, I don't want to go on about it, but look, I'll show you a little bit of what all the fuss is about, and, and maybe you can form your own opinion. You'd heard of Mermaid's legendary curiosity. Morgan Lisley, shopkeeper, and which welcomes you to her establishment. Look, all I'm gonna say is I'm just not a huge fan of the character design. I mean, I really liked the art style as a whole, but those boobs, they were just out of control. And it got to a point where it's not even really offensive anymore. It's just comical and, and just dumb. I did find myself laughing at it. And at first I thought it was a bit tongue in cheek, but then it was just so straight faced and it just comes across crass and pervy, I think. I mean, my big problem is that I couldn't look anywhere else, yeah. literally. It's just that they just, the way they move, they don't stop moving, it's hypnotic. <laughs> My boobs don't move in the wind. <laughs> All right, well, enormous gravity defying boobs to the side for the moment. Let's try and talk about the actual game. To start off with, you choose your character depending on how much of a challenge you want. You have your fighter, Amazonian and dwarf who offer a more straightforward brawler type, or you can go for the ranged attacks of the wizard, elf or sorceress who offer up a bit more of a challenge. After a quick tutorial, you find yourself in the game's hub town. Oh, no. From here, you pick up quests and venture out into various dungeons and castles in search of the elusive dragon's crown. I admit I tuned out of the story pretty quickly though, Hex, because you're always coming back to town and talking to people in the town and they just go on and on and on and on and on. A giant man in armor finishes skip it, skip his skip it, skip it, skip it. If you're part, if you the knight extends his hand, he's hope. Yeah, the story just kind of gets in the way, doesn't it? Mm. Once you do get to the action though, it's pretty solid. You mostly just use one button for attacks, but different directions on the stick and jumping opens up a pretty big range of moves. Combine those with dashes, blocks, and special attacks over six characters, and you have a lot to master. It's exciting combat, isn't it? And the difficulty ramps up really quickly too, so it's a good thing you don't have to go in alone. You can either bring in three other players online or locally, or by finding piles of bones and taking them back to your town, you can resurrect NPCs to fight alongside you. But this game shines when you've got a few friends playing with you. And it gets so chaotic on the screen, at times I'd find myself just mashing, trying to figure out where I was, only to find myself in the corner just punching the air, not helping anyone. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing that really makes you stick around, though, is all those fat loots. Each dungeon is littered with chests and hidden bits of loot to uncover. Simple. In a bit of a twist though, they don't actually show you what your loot is. You can either just sell it or pay some gold to have it appraised and find out its stats. Yeah, it's got a bit of a 2D Diablo vibe, hasn't it? And after each mission, you've got loads of gear to play with. And of course, there's a healthy dose of RPG mechanics to flesh it all out. As you level up, you'll get to spend your experience points on either character-specific skills or ones that apply to any character. Plus, it's quite a meaty adventure, isn't it? With a single playthrough taking anywhere between 10 to 15 hours. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of these old school beat em ups, and this certainly triggered a lot of nostalgia, but I am used to them being a more arcadey affair. You know, where you sit down with some friends and have a quick bash, but 15 hours? Yeah, it is a lot for a beat em up, I guess, but it seems weird to be criticizing a game for too much content. I know, well, maybe if they stopped yapping so much, we'd get through it a bit quicker. <laughs> Shut up. Glad in the your the guild. Final thoughts, Hex. Well, Dragon's Crown does deliver on its promise of being a true old school fantasy beat em up, but. Look, if I'm being completely honest, I just can't get past that character design. It's ridiculous to the point of being too distracting for me, so I'm giving it six and a half out of ten. Yeah, it is totally ridiculous, but I'm just so happy to have a modern beat-em-up. I miss them. I'm giving this seven and a half out of ten rubber chickens.